Hello everyone, Luke for Smith here. It is Thursday the 28th of December. Um, we're in the middle between Christmas and New Year at the minute. Got some um, Daniel Larson Ricky readings to, to do. I know it should be on the Saturday but I want to do this in case I forget to do them. Um, there is three articles it's going to be a lengthy title and I think it's going to go over the character limit if I have it all in one title so today's video I'm just going to be going over the IHOP incident and the Golden Hotel incident um, this all happened after the um, um, after the um, the, the, the last one I did I, I can't remember what this one is that uh, um, that Italian place he was at I, I seriously can't remember <laughs> the actual name of it anyway I'm going to be uploading this today and I'm going to be recording the the Christmas Day meltdown um, incident um, straight after this one but I'm going to be scheduling it, that to go up on tomorrow morning so it all goes up this week so the IHOP incident on December 16th Daniel stayed at for an hour past getting his bill. Let me just check something real quick. Okay, I thought someone was out out, out my door. So on December 16th, 2023, Daniel stayed for an for an hour past getting his bill, waiting for management to pay, like his management, his fake management. The server who was dealing with it, with Daniel pleaded with him as she just wanted to go home and put her kids to bed and had already stayed past her shift pa st stayed past when her shift ended then I explained that someone else was was paying the bill through the app to which the waitress said that he had that that he had that an hour ago and it still hasn't happened Daniel then changed his story, saying that a manager, saying that a manager, my throat is really blocked. I don't know why. That's why I'm speaking funny. A manager was calling the cops and was now waiting for them. In other words, just stalling. He was just fucking stalling, there, wasting people's time because he couldn't be fucking asked to pay, and he didn't want to dine and dash because if he did, he'd get arrested again because he always fucking does. He argued with the server, telling her that he would that he would pay the bill if they called off the cops. In other words, blackmailing them. She agreed and walked away. Eventually, the police did arrive, including the same officers as the Olive Garden incident. There we are, Olive Garden. They allowed Daniel to leave without paying, on the condition that he did not come back. Well, in other words, um, he got away with it. Uh, in other words, letting him once again get out scot free with no lasting consequences, further in enlarging his delusions of grandeur and making it certain that Daniel would never really, would, would never truly face the consequences of his actions. And you got a quote: "People like li literally just need to learn that I'm a celebrity. You're not a celebrity. You're a deranged fucking homeless cunt." That's, that's, that's all you fucking are and this was last updated on the 27th so yesterday don't know I, it's, it's only a short article so it doesn't really um, have anything going on it at the minute because it's basically over the golden hotel incident this is a newer one the golden hotel incident occurred during Daniel's TikTok live stream on December 23rd in which Daniel is ejected from the Golden Hotel in Golden, Colorado. This is more of a fleshed out um, article. Prior events. Daniel purportedly booked a hotel room and he wanted to stay there for a week with Grace. Still thinks Grace is going to come see him. Fucking hell, what an idiot. Earlier that day, he stated that in less than 24 hours things will go to shit possibly foreshadowing this incident. About two hours prior to the incident, Daniel claimed that Grace and and I had been working to, on, on getting the hotel for the night. 
By this point, Daniel's stream has amassed around 100,000 likes and 6,000 viewers. Fucking hell. Many viewers tried to get Daniel to believe multiple things such as Grace's death, again, <laughs> or telling him to run, claiming the FBI were after him. Before, uh, before you can see Daniel walking around and allegedly sounds like to be narrating his text messages between Clark and at one point Rowan was mentioned. However, they seem to be irrelevant to the hotel situation. It is possible that he was narrating from his TikTok live comments. But it is unclear what was being said. Daniel said Lauren aka Lawrence aka Lou or Lawrence aka Lucas is impersonating me because he is angry that he got fired. Be careful be careful Clark will confirm that this is my only number. But it suggests that Lauren might might may be impersonating Daniel. And Clark is mentioned only as someone who claimed who who can confirm the legitimacy of Daniel's provided contact information. Prior to entering the hotel, Daniel called the hotel to ask about the reservation. Only to discover that he was never made. <laughs> Clark, Daniel's manager, fake manager attempted to say that there was a reservation at the hotel he entered and after being informed that he does not have a reservation the staff received a phone call about him warning warning of how those types of incidents are common Daniel is then asked to leave Daniel leads, leaves the, lo the lobby and walking around the sidewalk Daniel sees a black car and claims it has been following him since his court hearing he proceeds to film the car. Incident. Daniel swiftly returns to the Golden I was gonna say Golden Gate Hotel, the Golden Hotel, to ask for the phone number of the of the com complaint or co complainant because his manager told him that, that there was a reservation. Addressing da Daniel by his first name, the front the front desk workers refused to give Daniel the, the number. One of them claims to have received the calls from neighbouring businesses warning them about Daniel. In other words, um, the um, I tell you, what, I forgot the fucking name again. To be fair, it, 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 it was up here, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Well, the the other restaurant possibly called around, basically warning other businesses about him. That's, that, that's basically ha 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 how it works. Manager then asks Daniel to leave, threatening him to call the police if he doesn't. Daniel yells, "Why would you call the police? I'm not doing anything. Well, you're you're loitering, and you've been told to leave, and you're not leaving. That's why." And then he claims that there has been a reservation, and the trolls were met were messing with him. In, and the ho and the motel, well, it's a hotel, not motel. The manager tells Daniel that it doesn't matter if he has a reservation or not; she can deny service to anyone. It's true; anyone can deny service to anyone. Um, it it's basically the rules. If people don't like you around, they can basically tell you to fuck off and don't come back. This makes Daniel very upset and he curses the staff and pushes over a glass under the floor where it shatters. Did he actually break a sign? I've, I know, I've seen the video, I thought it was like a metal post he, he knocked over or something. It sounded metal. At this point, the manager is, uh, is visibly furious and begins to scream at Daniel for breaking the hotel's property. He should be charged for that, to be fair. And Daniel begins arguing back towards her and screaming. He also threatens to break his probation and, and free the state of Colorado. I'm pretty sure your probation has already been broken the amount of fucking um, incidents you've been having. Due to being kicked out of the Golden Hotel, the manager chases Daniel out of the lobby while screaming at him to get out and not come back to the property. <clears throat> yeah, and leaving Colorado when you have upcoming court dates is not a good idea. Aftermath. After running away from the hotel, Daniel couldn't be he heard hurting himself and yelling at the ma manager, fuck off bitch, while also calling her a fucking idiot. He also threatens to leave Colorado over the business in Golden reporting him. Businesses. 
He states that he he can't make a living in Colorado due to the local businesses working against him. In, in videos posted to TikTok after the incident, Daniel claims that the hotel stole two thousand dollars from him, booking a room for the night that refused him. Well, to be fair, like if they refuse people, I think it happens over here as well. Um, I think you do get your money back. It's like they do send your money back, but it depends like what um what hotel you you stay at. I mean, to be fair, um, he probably didn't even like book of them anyway. He probably believed what people told him. So that what that was like. Yeah, this is basically all done. This was last updated on the twenty fifth of December. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end it here. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.